Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Juraj Hasko. I'm from the Slovakia and I'm representing Slovak Chamber of Commerce and Industry at the Rail DG Expo 2021. Thank you for opportunity which has been given by organizer Crescendo Worldwide. So let me tell you a few words about Slovak Chamber of Commerce and Industry and mainly about Slovak economy and Slovakia. Slovak Republic is a great example of an economic that has been able to take advantage of political and economical changes that occurred during the last two decades of the 20th century. Moreover, the Slovak Republic was also able to benefit from the peaceful divorce with the Czech Republic that happened back in 1993. In a short time, we were able to transform our economy to the free market system and successfully focus our production on foreign markets. Considering this, Slovak economy became one of the most open economies of the European Union. When measuring GDP growth, Slovakia constantly belongs to the club of the most rapidly growing countries in the European Union. The main sectors is automotive and its suppliers in Slovakia. We are making 1 million cars per capita per year. Back in 1990s, there was hardly any car production in our country. Of the European Union, followed by entering the Eurozone, has had a clearly positive impact on speedy and constant economic growth of the country. This has been enhanced by entering the Schengen area and benefiting from its free trade area. In the macroeconomic field, Slovakia meets basic criteria that allowed the country to enter the Eurozone, low inflation rate, decreasing public finance deficit and gross debt, which is under the average number of European member, Union, European Union member states. In order to maintain the high growth, Slovakia has to face several challenges like improving the public administration quality, vanishing regional disparities, and improvement of education and research. These steps also have potential to improve business environment, followed by better ranking of Slovakia in competitiveness. Let me tell you a few words about Chamber of Commerce and Industry of the Slovak Republic. Slovak Chamber of Commerce and Industry is a public institution founded in 1992. It presents and it has presence in entire Slovakia and is focused on supporting and protecting business activities and coordinating common business interests of member either in Slovakia and abroad. Both natural persons and corporate entities who are active in business or are related to business environment are members of our chamber. Since 1996, the membership in our chamber is voluntary. Slovak Chamber of Commerce and Industry is present in international chambers as well. Eurochamber, based in Brussels, Belgium, and the International Chamber of Commerce, based in Paris, France. Considering industry, one range of business is present in our chamber. Either production companies, trade corporations, banks, insurance houses, service providers, agriculture or food industry entities, as well as specialized high school. When, is, when it comes to size, our chamber 
members range from large companies with Slovak and foreign capital holdings, incorporated companies, and small and medium-sized enterprises. Slovak Chamber of Commerce and Industry members take 84% share of the total Slovak GDP and almost 90% of Slovak export volume. So what services we are offering? Our chamber offers to the entrepreneurs a wide range of services to support their business activities. The services are provided regardless they are or are not in chamber members. However, the advantage of being part of our chamber is that the services are provided at more favorable conditions. We are offering also legal services, so our chamber regularly comments on legal acts proposal as well as other regulations with impact on business environment. They are mainly related on lowering bureaucracy, energetics, banking and insurance or vocational educations. We are doing advisory and consulting services, so our employees provide advisory and consulting for entrepreneurs in many areas, such as labor law, business relations, business conditions at foreign markets, customs and certifications. The regional chambers organize special consultation days focused on certain topics that match the demand of local businesses. We are doing certification service, so, and we are issuing certificates of origin. Slovak Chamber of Commerce and Industry is the only certification authority to certificate non-preferential origin of goods in Slovakia. Thanks to its quality and professional services, SECI became a member of the accreditation chain of the International Chamber of Commerce and World Chambers Federation and is allowed to use the accreditation label on every issued certificate. We also doing CARNET ATA. It is an international customs document. It enables transit and temporary import of goods in the third countries without paying duties and taxes. With no trade and no political limitations and without the need to meet local customs rule. Carnet is valid up to 12 months. Then also for our members, we're doing professional business event management. So we are doing business mission, seminars, webinars, and also we are participating on international exhibition and we are doing fair management for our members. So let me show you a structure of, original structure of our chamber. We have eight offices around Slovakia. And as you can see on the screen, in one of our region, uh, Nitra, Indian company, Tata Motors, made the acquisition of land for Jaguar Land Rover new plant in 2018. And Indian company, CK Birla Group, made joint venture with Slovak company Kinex Beerings in 2020. Kinex Beerings is a producer of beerings for railway industry. Here you can see pictures of Mr. Ratan Tata and Mr. David Smith when they did joint venture between Tata and Jaguar Land Rover. On, on the other pictures, you can see Mr. Villa with the owner of the Kinex Beerings 
company in Slovakia. So here you can see a green field, how it looks before the investment of Jaguar Land Rover plant and Tata Group in Slovakia. And on the other pictures, you can see how it looks now and production of the Land Rover cars is ongoing already. So on this slide, you can see possibilities for business cooperation between India and Slovakia. And it is mainly in the following sectors. It's a public transport and railways, water supply projects, sewage treatment, green buildings, biotechnology, IT technology, fine machinery, energy and renewable energy, food and agriculture, medical tourism and balneal therapy, research and development, logistics, defense, and good governance, such as biometrics. From India to Slovakia, you can go by the sea or by the air. Slovakia belongs to European Union, as I mentioned, so it means there is a 450 million market with 450 million consumers. Let me tell you a few words about history of railways industry in Slovakia or former Czechoslovakia. In 1837 was opened the first railway from Austria to Poland, from the town of Vienna to the town of Krakow. In the year of 1848 was opened railway from Austria to Hungary, to Budapest. In 1855 till 1899, Austrian railways, company Steck, with French capital, did operation in the southern Slovakia. Just for mentioning, in 1890, Banska Bystrica Chamber of Commerce and Industry was founded. So we have celebrated last year 130th anniversary. On the picture, you can see the first steam locomotive and wagon. These were made mainly in Switzerland, Germany, and Austria. The average speed of these vehicles was from 38 kilometers per hour to 53 kilometers per hour. In 1902, the service life of wooden sleepers was extended by the introduction of the wrapping method, pressure impregnation with a tar oil. In 1903, the first electric locomotives were implemented on the railway market in the Central Europe. In 1918, after World War I, Czechoslovakia was established and separated from the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Since 1918 till 1992, Czechoslovak railways did operation in Czechia and Slovakia with booming development and production of new locomotives, wagons, and railways construction. Since 1992 till today, Slovak railways doing operation in Slovakia and several manufacturing companies are producing locomotives, wagons, and additional railways technology. So let me start presentation with a company, Jos Zwollen. This company is doing reparation and modernization of motor locomotives and motor rail. The current production program of Jos Zwollen includes wide range of repairs, modernization, revision, maintenance of motor units, motor locomotive, diesel, 
and electric railways, production and repairs of spare parts and the related business base, the customer's request. Below, you can see video. So just click on it and you can see more information about this company. Here we have company Jos Rutki. They doing production, modernization and repairs of rail vehicles for longer than 130 years. Jos Rutki provides the complete repair of all electric and diesel locomotives, production and repair of passenger coaches and freight wagons, electric units dedicated for passenger transport and testing of all parts of electric locomotives. The third company is Jos Trnava. They're doing refurbishing, modernization, manufacturing of freight rail cars and passenger coaches. Since 1924, grew to the largest repair workshop of freight railway wagons in Europe. Justonava is doing refurbishing, retrofit and upgrades, modernization of freight rail cars, rail passengers coaches, wheel sets, brake system, buffer and draw gear, design and manufacture new freight wagons of various types. The fourth company is EVPU. They're doing special and power electronics for rail vehicles and railway infrastructure. Based on own R&D, EVPU offers for more than 40 years customer tailor-made solutions in the field of static converters for auxiliary drives, complete electronics for diesel electric, hybrid electric mode locomotives, public transport vehicles, and static converters for railway infrastructure. Another company is Regonic. They're doing measuring, regulation, information, and safety technologies. Regonic provides development, design, production, supplies, and assembling of motor regulations, information, and safety technologies. The company has been established in 1992 and the has a long time experience uh, specialist for analog and digital electronics. Also below you can see video on YouTube about this company. TechClima is doing air conditioning, cooling, and ventilation system for passengers, coaches. So it's doing ventilation, cooling, ventilation systems for railway carriages during the process of modernization of rail transport. Here we have another company uh, called NES. They doing power controllers, traction rectifiers, additional systems and accessories for rail vehicles. This company is operating in Slovakia since 1992 and has delivered modern energy saving electronics devices for uh, vehicles and made many railways applications. Here we have company HMH. They're doing control, measurement, and train control systems for railways transportation. It's a very strong, modern, and dynamic growing company ready for cooperation with Indian partners. The last company which I have today in presentation is company Betamont. This company is, has affected traffic management more than 25 years with global impact. It has special product measure in motion called 
and on the pictures you can see uh, uh, software for detection if there is any problem uh, as you can see on the fourth picture with the lambda uh, so the system detects any problem which can occur on the railway during for example cargo uh, or during uh, passengers transport also below you can see more on the video so i would like to thank you very much for opportunity which has been given by crescendo worldwide i'm looking forward to rail dg expo 2020 now 21 and i'm available on the contacts below or on the phone which is also WhatsApp. So thank you very much and I wish you very good and successful B2B negotiation. Thank you and goodbye.